So I'm nicely warmed up and if you guys are looking for a warm up routine I have one on my side but I rock the TV so check that out and now I'm just gonna go right into my workout it's gonna be only 12 minutes long and uh, I have my timer set up so let's do this So this was my workout for today, it was really intense and uh, it was only 12 minutes long so if you guys want to try it at home I have it all explained on my site but it of the TV and all you need is your own body weight and, uh, and a timer. So uh, I'm gonna go over the exercises with you so that you know how to do them properly. I just have to cool down a little bit and have my stretching before I do that. <sighs> so I'm back. I had to change into new clothes and I had to have a shower because I was really soaked. So this feels much more comfortable and now I'm just gonna go over the exercises with you. There are four different exercises and I'm gonna start with the surfer. So for the surfer exercise you wanna start in this position, squat down, bring your thighs parallel to the ground, keep your back straight, chest up, abs tight and from here you wanna get really fast down on your belly but make sure that you don't flop just keep the movement under control so like this now extend the arms in front of you do a chest lift bring the elbows together back down now hands on the ground and push yourself off of the ground and jump up into the surfer position again but this time you're gonna change the sides so you're gonna end up like this and from here you're gonna jump up and land again into the surfer position. So, one more time. On your belly, chest lift. Get up and jump up. Now, just a few tips. Uh, as you get tired, you're gonna notice that the squats are you know, not as deep as they should be, so make sure that you're really going down into the squat position and uh, what else when you jump up make sure that you're not just like you know uh, your arms are gonna get lazy my arms always get lazy so I just wanna remind you really uh, use your maximum efforts for jumping up and always land softly on the balls of your feet first and bend your knees slightly to absorb the shock and you have to always land into the surfer position. Um, what else? You hear the movement, get on your belly, has to be under control. If you just drop down, you know, it's not good. And uh, this is the chest lift from the side. 
And I think I explained everything about this exercise already. Let's move on. The second exercise in this workout were beach scissors. So you're gonna go on your side like this. Keep this hand underneath your shoulder and keep the arm extended. Uh, here you're gonna place this hand on your hips and push your hips up so that you get the, her body in one straight line. And here you're gonna be left, lifting the top leg as far as you can and you're gonna do as many reps as you can like this during the 50 second interval. <sighs> Gets really hard. Uh, for those who cannot do it this way, there's a modification for this exercise. You can just go on your elbow like this. Do this exercise from your elbow. It's easier. For those uh, who are complete beginners, you can just do it like this from here. It's really easy. So, uh, that's it. I did it on both sides. Uh, just really make sure to keep your core tight. Uh, don't drop your hips. Really keep your core tight, your abs tight, and keep the body in one straight line. You're gonna be working your obliques, your hip flexors, your entire core. The third exercise that I was doing today were fighter lunges. And this exercise requires a lot of balance. So you're gonna lunge back. And now you're gonna bring the back knee up towards your chest as, uh, as high as you can. And you're gonna be uh, getting up on your toes. And it's like if you want to uh, give somebody a knee in front of you, like if you were fighting with somebody and you want to give him a knee, so like this and you're going to go up on your toes, but that's not it. Imagine if somebody's behind you want to elbow him, so you're going to do it like this, knee and elbow, and you're going to go up on your toes, which makes it really hard this exercise because I was losing balance. You're supposed to go after the elbow back into the lunge position, which is hard. But try it, try your best. And back into the lunge like this. So I tried to do as many reps as I could and then you're gonna switch the sides for the second interval. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So the last exercise that I was doing today were one, two, three push-ups. And the reason why I call them one, two, three is because I do three hops and then a push-up. So you get into the plank position and you're gonna bring your hips a little bit up and step forward with one foot. And from the outside a little bit so your knee is pointing out. And from here you're gonna jump and you're gonna switch the legs. That's one, two, three, and a push-up. This counts as one rep. So again, one, two, three, and push-up. This exercise is a great cardio, and uh, it's gonna be working your core, your chest, triceps. It's almost a full body exercise. So that's it. Those were the four exercises that I was well, that I was doing today in this today's workout. Can't even talk anymore. So uh, let's just cut, and I'm gonna think what I wanted to tell you afterwards. So now that I remembered what I wanted to say, I can tell you that this workout is all explained on my site bodyrock.tv. Uh, I'm gonna be posting all of the reps that I did so that you can compete with me. Uh, I'm gonna explain how to set your timer so that you can do this workout at home. And that's it. 